ending our hunky-dory happiness week of webisodes. We have something for every single person who is watching and for <laughs> whom you make things. <laughs> because we have birth flowers yes. for all 12 months of the year. And this is great for card making and scrapbooking. Absolutely, and we're gonna show you some ways to use them. Come, Come play, play with us. us. So the title is Birth Flowers, and you can kind of imagine what <laughs> right. you're going to be getting. But the idea sheet is going to give you a project for every single month. So right. that's a nice beginning. So a different flower for every month, and you can apply that directly to someone's birth month. Right. Or you can just send a card for any time. Absolutely. Now, this is indicative of what each oh, of the sheets beautiful. are. So, you know, absolutely art, beautiful art, right. foiling as you would expect. Over over 150 gold foil die cuts in this kit. And then it also talks about the flower and the meaning of the flower and so forth. Now this happens to be June right. for roses, but we know roses are perfect anytime. Absolutely. And then you've got happy birthday. You've mm -hmm. got just for you, someone special. So right. anyway, you want to look at it. So here we go, marigolds and just a gladiola. So we just go through the entire right. year. The inspiration sheet tells you which month is for which flower. What uh, and it says it on the uh, on the pieces right. too. April is going to be sweet peas. Right. So oh, you've got okay. that to use as you want. Of course, you know, when you get into poinsettias, that can be Christmas or a December birthday. And I love all of the shapes. And, and mm -hmm. they, they have that typical <clears throat> hunky-dory style with the nested frames. And you can use these frames in more ways than just on a card. Yeah, and sometimes you've got borders. You just want to snip them off at the end. Right. So just gorgeous. And in addition, of course, you have the adorable scoreable. Now, this is foiled. Right. as we begin. You're going to get 12 sheets of the gold foiled. And go and through. Hey, right. I love adorable scoreable because when you score it and fold it, the, the design doesn't break. That's why they call it that. And it's such high quality, really heavyweight cardstock. And then you're also going to get some sheets, now this is still foiling, uh, that are not foiled, that are just printed. Right. And you can see all of them in the product video. Right. So let's they're, get to the projects. To <laughs> Let us look at the projects. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start with that first rose. We'll get in focus there. And isn't that beautiful? So as we've often talked about, eliminating or pulling that other circle that out. nested frame, Using right? it elsewhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this happens to be an easel card. So as I pop that up. That's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? I do love how that adorable scoreboard on the back, those mm -hmm. that kind of ghosted back, just really lets this pop. It, it, it is a beautiful look. And how simple is that to create a beautiful card? That's a five inch wide right. card. And, and as you know, just fold that, yeah. glue the bottom of your uh, focal to the bottom of the and card And we showed front. that earlier in the week. Yes, we did. We were showing an easel card, so how simple that is. We like to use those a lot because it really makes the focal stand out. It does. And this has a happy birthday and a just for you are the additionals. So four pieces there. You know us. We have to add a little <laughs> bit of more bling. So, so just the, a little uh, bit of jewel the border, border dazzle All right. is wonderful. So, now we're going to go into another look. And I think sometimes, um, if we forget to do this, putting something at an angle right. instead of just straight. Straight right. would be fine. And sometimes you, you'll see this right on the inspiration sheet from Hucky Dory, and sometimes that's how we get reminded of that. So take a look at the inspiration sheet. And this one has this big panel flat, and the frame is elevated with foam tape. Right. So that's another. Mm -hmm. To someone special just for you. So and you can use, there are so many greetings, you can use more oh. than one. Oh, oh, that's Look cute. Look at this. I didn't see that. Okay, so <laughs> let, me, let me do this properly. Okay, okay, so I'm going to open it up, and then we've got a piece here that also oh. can stand An up. An interior easel. Oh, Debbie fun. must have done that. So <laughs> I'm going to open this up all the way, so take a look. So it's, this is just one piece of adorable scoreable. You're going to score it. That's about three quarters of, uh, uh, mm -hmm. to an inch from the edge and place it on here and you've got a natural easel for the inside of your card and of course foam tape another greeting to stand that up that yeah. is adorable that and that's is. a marigold card that's so, very so nice very pretty with all those yes cards. someone doesn't like her birth flower <laughs> um and so that's why this was done <laughs> for they, that they, mysterious they person pretty in certain situations <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to go on to these. And again, 
this is kind of alternating them. So very fun look. That, that is fun. And I, and I do like that you can see the border dazzles back there going through that. So, so the frame, I mean, totally off kilter from the way the mm -hmm. tag is going two different directions. Very nice. Happy birthday to you and the inside that's left unfinished in so this particular one. So, on that one. so this has got a vertical um, strip there. Mm -hmm. This has a horizontal at the top, but the same idea where they're layered on top of that. Kind right. of a peekaboo effect, mm -hmm. if you will. This is August, my birth month. And this is also opening like so. Oh, how beautiful. So, yeah. But I want to show you something special about okay. how that's done. So it's a nice tall card. Um, if you were to just take one sheet of Adorable Scorable and fold it here, you wouldn't get that length. So this is two pieces, and let me show you how Debbie did that. I've got a different piece of cardstock, but it started out like this. So one entire piece, cut it in half. So now you've got these two pieces. Now let me bring in another one to show you that for one piece, you're going to score one inch down from the top, and for another piece, you're going to cut one inch off. So that's bottom. what you do for both of those. Okay. One piece is scored so it can fold back. The other piece, one inch is cut off. And now you can use extra sticky tape oh. and attach that on the back like that. And that's how this card was created. OK, very nice. So if you just folded it, you wouldn't get that color right, on the inside. You wouldn't. So. It's just beautiful. Nice way to that. use it. Mm -hmm. I love the border dazzles. There's a few little gold jewel dazzles on opposite corners. Mm -hmm. So really pretty. So just nice to see some different uses of mm -hmm. the Adorable Scorable. And we mentioned for card makers and scrapbookers, and let me show you how, mm -hmm. this is just perfect. So there's the Adorable Scorable as a large supersized mat right. onto a 12 by 12 paper and then adding our die cuts as as you see them. As you see. Now, so, so for this one, there is the frame, and there's the die cut that came out yeah. of the frame. So I love that. It's almost like sort of exposing this photo by foam taping that <laughs> over here, backing that with a photo, matting, and just a beautiful look, and then just adding sentiments. And there are sentiments on there that are perfect mm -hmm. for journaling. And then the little borders at the top and the bottom right. just add a nice, uh, kind of fill that extra little space. And they don't have to go all the way to the edge of the page. You can let them hang yeah. out on both sides. It's sort of floating. That's a nice look. A little bit of ribbon, some flowers, and it's all done. Boy, you can do that quickly, and I guarantee you're going to need all 12 months of this. <laughs> so just very, oh, very nice. Oh, you know, nice. that was a great idea. So get this and do a page for each month yeah. because you've got the birth flowers for it. And you've got all <laughs> the things that you'll need in the birth flowers set. And with all Hunky Dory, we get our order and they don't reprint. So um, when they're gone, they're gone. When they're gone, they're gone. I hate to and, tell you that, but it's right. true with Hunky Dory. Same thing of this week of webisodes. <laughs> it is. This was the fifth day and so glad you joined us this week. Yes. Thank you for being the very best part of Paper Wishes.